Recently I talked about creating an animated looping GIF from a video. That's great, but you need a video in order to do that. Let's talk about creating an animated GIF from anything on your desktop. Just advance warning, I may say GIF in this video. I understand it's pronounced GIF, but I'm so used to saying GIF. So this is GIF Cam, it's available for free. I'll provide the download link in the description. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. And you can see here that it pretty much can be resized and moved about wherever you want. It's an overlay for the desktop, so you can put this on games, you can put it on applications, and it will capture it. In this case, I'm gonna open up Paint and put it over the workable area. And you'll see four options on the right, Rec, Frame, Edit, and Save. Frame is used for capturing frame by frame, so the same thing as using camera, just press this, it'll capture it, you can move this around, press it, it'll capture it again, move it around. So you could do that, or you could use it as a time delay basis, so you can capture or press this multiple times and use that as a delay when you're moving stuff around too. But I won't be doing that in this case, I'll be using the Rec button, and you'll see we have 33 frames per second, 16 frames per second and 10 frames per second. This is really important because the larger that your GIF, the less likely someone is gonna to want to download it. If you have a five megabyte GIF, okay, it may be epic, but a lot of people don't wanna wait for a five megabyte GIF to download. So we're gonna st stick with 10 FPS for the time being. We're not gonna record full screen, but we have an option for that and capturing the cursor too. So what I'm gonna do is press the record button and make a circle and then press stop. Why am I doing this? I'm going to demo the edit button here and you'll see that it's capturing all the frames, so frame 0 and frame 1. As I go along, you'll see that there's a heck of a lot of green and it's only capturing certain sections of what I've drawn. It's a little bit odd, but that's because it's capturing transparent pixels and merging them with the main frame. To do that, it makes it a lot better and more compressed, smaller size to put on the web. So it's a nice way to merge everything together to not keep uh, doing the same frame over and over or constant frames of an entire image which makes your image larger. I hope that's easily understandable. So that is the edit thing. Let's go to new. Go to new on paint. Not save that one. And now I'm gonna make my little face. So here's the best face you have ever seen in the world, ever. There we go, very smiley. So I can stop that now, and that's pretty much ready to save. I don't, I'm not gonna edit this or do anything else. So let's go ahead and save it. I have a few options here. I have the quantize, which is what I was talking about with the green stuff. We have nearest, 256, 20, grayscale, monochrome. So for this, it's just a grayscale image. So I'm gonna choose that, and I'm gonna save on the desktop as a demo GIF. And you'll see, if I go to run it with Earth View, if I move this out of the way, here is my demo GIF and it's looping too. And you'll see that the saving that I've got in terms of space, 15.84 kilobytes for that. That's pretty good for me doing about five or six seconds worth of doing something in paint. So that pretty much covers it. That is a GIF cam and I highly recommend you check it out. It's free and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>